Look at that. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love, I love this orchid. Just a simple big lip phalaenopsis orchid. But I want to try something. I am going to see if I cannot somehow propagate this orchid by using some of the nodes that are available to me right here. Just a little clip, just a little video to see if this will work. Putting a little bit of sphagnum moss on the bottom, very loosely, not tightly packed. And then what we need to do is remove these outer coverings here. This very carefully. Get rid of it and you see this right here. That could be the start of a new orchid. There's one. Let's try the next one. Very carefully. There are no guarantees that this works. I tried it once, but I wanted to try I wanted to try it with a I, I tried it with a sponge because I prefer inorganic than using sphagnum moss. But I was not successful with a sponge. So now I'm going to try it with sphagnum moss and see what happens. Might as well give it a go. Got nothing to lose. We have a spike available. Let's very carefully remove the outer sheath. We have two more up here. I don't know if I'm being over ambitious, but let's have a look what's going on underneath there. There's another one. Wonderful. Let's keep going. We still have one more. There's another one. So theoretically, we could do one, two, three, four. I hope all that was in focus. And then the next thing that we do with these things here is put it, cut them. Uh, let's say like two centimeters below the node. Each one. Sorry. Two centimeters. And then we have this last. Yeah, this is going to be. Oh well. There's no harm in trying, is there? And I can put that little bloom in a vase. So now what you want to make sure is that this part is on the bottom. Obviously, this is going to hopefully grow up. So this is the bottom. Cinnamon on top up here. And you stick it into the sphagnum moss as close to the node as possible without burying it. And that's what we're going to do. Times four. It's quite hot out. I have to be work quickly. The top gets sealed off with cinnamon. The bottom goes into the moss. The top with cinnamon. The bottom into the moss. I think I don't have to keep saying it. There we go. All right. There's that. Now, to very, very carefully surround everything with moss. 
as close to the node as possible without actually like burying it. Be interesting to see if it works. I tried this once, it, like I said with the sponge, it didn't work. I wonder if it was just because it was a sponge, like a loofah sponge, or if it was the time of year. We shall see. There's no harm in trying. We have a beautiful spike, fresh. And then a little bit more in the back here. It's a bit fiddly. You want to make sure the nodes are not covered. Close, but not covered. They need to be above the moss. All right, let's have a look. There's one above the moss. There's another one. Good position, don't blow away bag. This one we need to press down a little bit. There's that. A little bit more. And you are going to stay wobbly, aren't you? There's always that one, isn't it? Always that one that has to jump out of the mold. And you can see this one here. Its node is above the moss. And then what is left to do, to keep the humidity high in this bag, that's where this is going to go and live for a few days, weeks, maybe months. I take some sphagnum moss that is nice and humid and wet, and I put it on the bottom, like so. Make a little ring around it. And then all the little bits and pieces go inside. This is RO water. I don't want any mineral buildup in there. I just want humidity. And then this is what it looks like inside the bag. All the nodes are well above. Let me just double check. All the nodes should be right nicely tucked in there above the moss. And we're set to go. And all that is left to do now is close it up. Well, and put this beautiful bloom in a vase. Close it up. Put it in a bright location, no direct sun. And then every once in a while, let some air in. And let's see if we can make little phalaenopsis come out. I have no idea. It would be the first time. Maybe it was the time of year last time. Maybe it was the fact that I use a loofah sponge trying to stick with inorganic. But in this case, that's its home for a little while. Fingers crossed, we shall see. Thank you very much for watching. Just a little clip to have a little bit of fun. Everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.